Hello, Brick Sculptors, and welcome to Brick Sculpt. This is Chris, and today we need to remove some lines. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know I recently bought a ton of these Lego road plate sets. And uh, this set is super cool. I'm having a lot of fun playing around with them, but I have one problem with this set. This set includes four of the large plates, but it also gives you one half plate crosswalk, amongst other things. Now here's the problem. These are super cool and I've been using them in the city, but they only give you a crosswalk version of the half. Now I know these are available, but I have eight of these now and I'm not gonna have eight crosswalks in my city. So I wanna see if I can sacrifice this piece for science and see if I can remove these lines. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Now there's a few different methods out there um, a lot of people said erase it, and I've heard of this before, I've never tried to do it, but they said a pencil eraser should be able to remove this. Interesting. Um, now, I figure I might need a little help, so here, let's add a little extra on there. Unfortunately, that's the biggest eraser I have in this house that I can find at least. Um, we'll see how it does. It looks like it's going to be a lot of work, and I'm not super confident in the results. So, let's up the ante a little bit. Went and stole some nail polish remover, some acetone from the wife. And then I went in my own private stash and picked up some mineral spirits. Between these three methods, I think we can get these lines off. But I also want to know, will this be usable in the end? I'm afraid the mineral spirits or acetone may damage the plate. That's why I said we may sacrifice this for science. But let's see how it works out here. All right, first up, our eraser. I guess we just go at it, huh? That is doing all of nothing. Let's try this eraser. That's seriously supposed to work? That's not doing anything. Maybe this is different than the types of uh, Lego items that are erasable, but... Uh, no, this is definitely not coming off with an eraser. I bet I could do this all day and I'm not going to make any progress. So, that's out. All right, let's go for the acetone. Cotton balls. Here we go. This is interesting. I usually have like the bottle of it. Love that smell. Let's try this side. Okay, that's making some progress. In fact, that's melting right through it. Ooh, that's getting really sticky though. That's getting really sticky. That might be melting the plastic. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that could be the end of that plate. Maybe we can clean it up with some mineral spirits. Let's try this one right here. Also, if you're not familiar, mineral spirits is also just, it's called paint thinner. There's other types of paint thinners, but mineral spirits is probably the most commonly known one. This is doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Try to clean up this with it. Oops, hopefully it doesn't ruin my mat. These mats are hard to get nowadays. Well, mineral spirits did nothing. Acetone looks like it ruined the plate and the eraser did nothing. <laughs> 
So, what do we learn here? Don't use any of these methods. <laughs> Yeah, this is just eating away at the plastic. You can see it turning gray. And it's getting really sticky. I'm gonna go run this under some water, see if I can stop it from doing this reaction. All right, so that was a disaster. Well, what did we learn here, guys? The pencil, useless. The acetone, too strong. The mineral spirits, not strong enough. So. We still don't have a good solution. Don't try this at home. This is a waste of a plate. Oh well, that's all I got for this time. If you guys have anything else, maybe other suggestions that might work better for this, I have three more lines to experiment on. Please leave them below in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and do more videos just like this in the future. And we will see you next time.